the Skimmer, the brand new vehicle introduced in the Guardian games this year. The lore that comes with it is very mysterious. A long exiled character from the city gifts us a new hoverboard. We haven't heard the name of Lysander and his Concordat for a while, but today that changes. The last city has its own form of government in the consensus. A long time ago it contained the Speaker, the Three Factions, and the Vanguard. Now we're just down to what's left in the Vanguard. People of the last city, we are governed by a consensus. A democracy where the people have a say over what happens in their city. Or so we thought. In the city's earliest days, various factions vied for the hearts and minds of the refugee masses. Power struggles threatened to shatter an already tenuous existence. The following conflicts, known as the Faction Wars, brought the city to its knees. When the chaos grew intolerable, a gathering of guardians fought to end the conflict. The new peace brought a new order. The city consensus and the speaker ruled together and the surviving great factions worked through civil channels to pursue their agendas. That order still holds, but as the city reaches out into the frontier, the factions see new opportunities everywhere and a chance to win over guardians to their cause. So that was in the early days of the city. Currently, the factions are basically disbanded in Destiny 2, but factions would work together with the Speaker and the leaders of the Vanguard to be that voice for the city, speak on these civil matters, and so on. But in the beginning, these factions were comprised of Dead Orbit, New Monarchy, and the Concordat, a faction you wouldn't know about unless you read the lore and grimoire cards from Destiny 1. The Concordat had some interesting backstory and thoughts. In the Osiris grimoire card from the House of Wolves, you were a mighty warrior. I watched you at six fronts and heeded the call of Saint-14 to appoint you Vanguard Commander, even when the Concordat claimed to have records proving you were a Golden Age experiment, misincarnated as a human by an inept ghost. Saint-14 assured me you were just a man without much patience for obfuscation. From the lore card protected from Season of the Arrivals discussing light, darkness, and some of our enemies, they mention some feared individuals from the past, which highlights the tension between exploration and the risk of corruption or betrayal. Ikora would understand. She studied the Taken with me, despite the risks. And Zavala values foresight, but he also fears the next Lysander, the next Toland, the next Rezalazir. He fears what I could teach his guardians. He is weary of being the one to say no when all of his guardians shout yes. Yes, but it is his duty, and he loves when duty hurts. One day, this faction, led by a man named Lysander, would attempt a coup, not agreeing with certain ideals of the consensus and the city, so trying to overthrow them, enforce their ideals instead. A battle escalated in the very crucible map you've played in, Bannerfall where the Concordat was defeated by New Monarchy's guardians and removed from the city. If you play Destiny 1's Bannerfall, you'll see this, different banners from New Monarchy and the Concordat. And if you play Destiny 2's version, it's updated with New Monarchy and the Red Legion. Lysander and the Concordat mark the most recent example of a city political factions rising in opposition to the consensus. This site marks a legendary battle where New Monarchy's guardians rose to deliver the final blow to the Concordat, unraveling the war effort Lysander sought to bring against the Vanguard. Lord Shax has commandeered the area not only to commemorate this last stand, but as a reminder of the city's solidarity against those who seek to undermine the extreme efforts and sacrifice we make together to keep our peace. There was a campaign to call it Lysander's Folly, but I don't want people even remembering his name, Ikora Ray. 
So after that battle, the Concordat gets removed from the consensus and the city, and then Future War Called eventually joins in. And so it is agreed, the Concordat shall no longer be recognized among the consensus. We'll begin the dismantling right away. But what if those guardians who pledged to them? We can't afford any more banishments. I'm sure Zavala can see to their realignment. We'll do our best. Lysander chose his followers wisely. It may take some time. Lysander will not back down. He'll continue his crusade from wherever we stuff him. And so we need to find some new ideals to replace his. In Rise of Iron, our Guardian received a sparrow from this character himself. Each Guardian wants something. Greater speed, a rare weapon, a secret. Learn what it is. Use it. Lysander. According to the Hidden, in the wilderness beyond the city, Lysander rallies his supporters and plots his return. Some whisper of sympathizers in the tower and hidden gifts for guardians who honor him. That was in Destiny 1, so Lysander and his Concordat ejected from the city, but he still lives, rallies those believers. Just yesterday, with the release of the Guardian games, the brand new skimmer has some interesting lore tied to the Concordat. Listen to this. You're telling me these skimmers just turned up? Prakash prods gingerly at one of the boards with his foot. It floats gently in place at the center of the storeroom. A donation for the games, Spider says distractedly. Is that unusual? He grunts, displeased, and gestures sharply. Arha moves the painting slightly left of its position, wobbling precariously atop his chair. Usually there's a bet involved, Prakash explains, or its official Vanguard merchandise. This almost looks like one of those Neomuna boards, though, and the Vanguard wouldn't be passing that around. Well... Then it looks like we've lucked out this year. The right, Arha. Arha grumbles but obeys, hefting the frame into position. I think that did it, Prakash says, squinting at the painting. He doesn't see the point of it, a series of splotchy purple flowers along a dirt path. Indistinct trees, but Spider is gazing up at it like it's made of pure ether. Your donor leave a name at least? Spider sighs and reaches for a data pad. Ugh, oh, let's see. Two shipments. Personal vehicle. Skimmer. Gift to the city. Ah, here. Concordat. Spider looks over at Prakash, who shrugs. No idea who that is. So the Concordat gifted this skimmer to the city, likely Lysander again. He gave us that sparrow in Destiny 1 Lysander's cry, and maybe now this skimmer. I too thought this was from Neomuna, it's surfboards just like the ones they have. Maybe it still is but was just gifted from Lysander somehow, but Bungie bringing up this character again is interesting. Imagine if in one of the future episodes he returns to the city, either attempts a takeover has grown in forces and guardians joined his side, or maybe it's a peaceful meaning he has come to tell us something about the wilds of Earth. So there you have an update on Lysander and the Concordat. They seem to be still out there and giving gifts to the guardians of the city, maybe recruiting them for some reason. If you'd like to see some more Destiny lore and mysteries just like this video, please be sure to subscribe to the channel. I thank you very much for watching and I'll catch you all in the next video.